Welcome to the imperialism of India. In East India, by 1707, the Mongol Empire was collapsing. An abundance of small states broke away from the Mongol control. British regulated the East Indians' company effort in London and India. The company even had its own army led by the British officers and staffed by sepoys and Indian soldiers. Industrial Revolution had turned into workshops, and India was a major supplier for raw materials. The British set up restrictions that prevented the Indian economy from operating on its own. In the time of the sepoy immunity, the British were trying to convert Indians to Christianity. Indians rebelled as the economic problems increased. Indian people also resented the constant racism the British expre uh, expressed towards them. The commander garrison was shocked when 85 of the 90 sepoys rebelled. They marched through Delhi, where they were joined by Indian soldiers that were stationed there. Some good things about the British control is the government was improved. In the native states, freedom from oppress caused by the caprice of greed of rulers, also equal justice between men and men, was improved so they were equal. Men and women could not be educated and go to school. The education of India's own noble literature was modified by the enlightenment of West. British had no intention on giving control of the Indians. The British also took over more of the colonies in Asia. Thus, also the British were given better jobs in India. The Khmer garrison was shocked on how many sepoys refused to accept the cartridges. Fierce fighting took place. The East Indian Company took more than a year to regain control of their country. The British had sent troops out to help them. Unfortunately, the Indians could not reunite due to weak leadership and serious splits between the Muslims and the Hindus. Many Hindus wanted British control over the Muslim rules. Click here to go to Japan. Click here to go to Africa.